welcome to the csat series today's question this question was already asked in csat 2023 paper so what is the question if a b c and d e f are both three digit numbers such that a b c d e f are distinct non zero digits so all are single digit numbers all these values are single digit numbers and they are also non zero digits so except zero you want to consider the balance single digit numbers for these six but all are different so this is the thing we have decoded from the question also given if you add a b c plus d e f you will get the result double one double one that is four digit number as the answer so what are the possibilities we can analyze and here you want to know one thing it is not the requirement you need to find what is exactly a what is exactly b what is exactly c d e f this is not the requirement of the question here the question is asking you to find just the sum of it is given then what is the value of a b c d e f together the plus symbol denote the sum of all these values just we need to find the sum means there are so so many things we can apply in the shortcut we can apply so many things so instead of finding the accurate value for a to f just we can get the idea when a b c add up with d e f the sum we get is double one double one so what is the idea when two single digit and non zero and different values are added the sum of any two single digit numbers let's find the minimum value and the maximum value okay these single digit numbers are different numbers and non zero so i write except zero so this is a concept you can know minimum value means put minimum value 1 after 0 1 next minimum value 2 so here 1 plus 2 3 3 is the minimum sum and for maximum value the maximum single digit number you can consider 9 Nine plus the next maximum eight. If you add up nine plus eight, you get seventeen. So the minimum value is three. The maximum value is seventeen. So here, while addition symbol is given, this number given here one. How to consider this number? Here any number given must be in the range of three to seventeen. This is what we have taken. Between three to seventeen only. the numbers range here one is given means it is not actually one it has to be 11 it has to be 11 11 means one is here where is the another one it is on the top of b so 1 plus d plus e another one is given it is also not one it is 11 it has to be 11 actually why because the range falls like this between 3 to 17 is the range next thing this one is to be considered as 11 because it is it has to be 11 so one here carry one this 1 plus a plus d 11 this is the idea you need to take from these points after this you want to take a to f the sum shall we do that from this point what we got is c plus f 11 and here take this line 1 plus b plus e 
equal to 11 and 1 plus a plus d equal to 11. Just I want b plus e now. So, what I do this one I bring this side. So, 11 minus 1 10. This one I bring this side so that I can remove the unwanted things on the left side. So, what is b plus e? b plus e is 10. What is a plus d? a plus d also 10. What is c plus f? 11. 3 different pattern of sums we got but we want to add all these 3 parts. So, a plus d plus b plus e plus c plus f how much I will get is 10 plus 10 plus 11 and that is your answer in the exam. So, totally we get 10 plus 10 20 plus 11 31 and this is my final answer in the exam. So, pretty easy question if you know the pattern of minimum value of two different numbers, maximum value of two different single digit numbers when these single digits are not equal to 0. So, minimum value 3, maximum value 17 always. So, based on that you can answer the question. Fine. The next pattern. So, based on this question you can try the another question. Question for today. A, B, C, D and E, F, G are 4 digit numbers and 3 digit numbers respectively such that A, B, C, D, E, F and G are distinct non-zero digit. Distinct means different. Different non-zero digits means you can allot any single digit number except 0 such that A plus such that A, B, C, D plus E, F, G equal to 2222 what is the value of a b c d e f g together the sum you want to find right so as usual you can post your answer in the comment section so the next thing is answer for the previous videos question actually this question was asked in the previous video so many of you have commented the answer. So the actual explanation with the answer we can see now. What is the unit digit in the expansion? 1 double 0 8 2 to the power 7 8 9 7 5. So as usual we will be considering only the unit digit. So it will be equal to this unit digit will be equal to the unit digit of 2 in the base and 78,975 on the power. Okay. Next step, I want to simplify this power. However, I have simplified the base into a single digit number. The power part I want to simplify now. So, 2 I have taken 78,975. I want to reduce into a smaller value. What is the idea? Divide with the cyclicity number. What is the cyclicity number for 2? For 2, the cyclicity number is 4. These things are discussed in the previous video. You can watch with that. So, cyclicity number. So, the next thing is 78,975 to be divided by 4. I need to get the remainder in this case. After this, the remainder part is to be substituted with the power. Largest power of 78,975. So, I am going to do that now. Seventy-eight thousand nine seventy-five divided by four. So, you can do the normal division and get the remainder. This is one method. What smart students will do is, what is the test of divisibility rule for four? The test of divisibility rule for four tells us the last two digits can be checked whether the number is divisible by 4 or not you can check with the last two digits that's enough no need to waste your time and energy with solving a lengthy number so what is the thing last two digits are 75 i am going to consider this 75 to be divided by 4 what is the remainder the same remainder i will get in this case also right so what is the idea so the next thing i can take 75 because the last two digits here the last two digits are 75 to be divided by 4 what is the remainder 
1 times 4 is 4, 35, 8 times 4 is 32, the remainder is 3 here. If you take all the 5 digit numbers, you also will get the same remainder what I got in this case. So, smart students will do these two numbers to be divisible by 4 or not. What is the remainder like that they will do because applying the rule for 4, we can take this into consideration. Instead of solving with the larger number, you can take just two digits to test. I got remainder is 3. So, just I will substitute 2 power 3. What is 2 power 3? Answer 8. What is the unit digit of 8? 8 being a single digit number, unit digit also 8. So, finally, the result is 8. So, in the next video, I will meet you with some other interesting question. Thanks for watching.